a motherfucking beast of a beer. We are live. That is a fucking beast of a beer. I think this is probably going to be stronger than the dogfish head. Well, by now. Are you kidding me? How strong is this motherfucker? I haven't looked at it in ages. Uh, let's introduce it and I will give you the guy's surprise. We're going to take a look at... Oh, sorry. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stairs Beer Reviews. Over here at Sith Manor with the Sith, we've got Heist Almighty to my left, and he brought us a beer from BrewDog. We've been getting a few beers here lately from BrewDog. Uh, not one, this one. Not this one. This one's super special. Hey. This is an oak-aged Imperial Stout. Oh, fan, sorry. Intergalactic Fantastic Oak Age Stout. This is BrewDog's Tokyo. 18.2% ABV. Eight. Team. Holy shit. It's basically malt liquor. Oh my god. It's <laughs> basically whiskey. Basically, it's basically whiskey at this point. Uh, this is a beer inspired by 1980s Japanese invaders. Jap oh, sorry. This is a beer inspired by 1980s Space Invaders arcade game played in Japan's capital. The irony of existentialism, the parody of being, and the inherent of contradictions of postmodernism, all so delicately conveyed by the blocky pixelated arcade action we have been painstakingly recreated in this bottle's contents. Oh, this Imperial oh. Stout, so it is Imperial Stout, uh, is brewed with copious amounts of specialty malts, jasmine and cranberries. Whoa. 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 This, after fermentation, when we then dry hop this killer stout with a bucket loader of our favorite hops before carefully aging this beer on French toasted oak chips. So it's not, yeah, I suppose you could call it oak aged, but it's not barrel aged. That's why it says oak aged and not barrel aged. It's all about moderation. Everything in moderation, including moderation itself. What logically follows is that you must, from time to time, have excess. This beer is for those times. And we definitely have excess tonight. So, so let's it's pop. perfectly the beer for the times. Oh yeah. This is probably the strongest beer tonight and we've got a dogfish head sitting on one. Uh, I'm just 120 gonna... sitting on the table. Yeah. Well, we'll grab the bottle and look the, it up. But the I think one... it's 19. You it, it pour that first. Varies. It can be anywhere Ooh, from. Uh, that is very chocolatey. Whoo, that's boozy. Boozy and chocolatey. Boo -boo -boo boozy. Look at it. It's starting to just. It was starting to deform the wax into the cap. Nice. Nice. It wasn't past the best before date though, so you guys can suck it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's technically still good. Yeah, the 120 actually varies from 15 to 20 percent. Yeah. Depending on the year. Depending right? upon the year. But yeah. What year was that bottle? Who brought that? That was Ryan, Rob Gilbert that brought, brought that to the Dawn's I, thing, wasn't it? I don't know. I just, I was trying to encourage Watch people. Enough, thank you. Oh, God. So, sir, oh, my God. I prefer it's this. All, <laughs> look at the bottom of that. Oh, it's like got black sludge. The only beer I've seen worse than that is the is the Sam Adams triple block that Matt Massive Beer Reviews had. That is nasty. Holy crap. I don't know how long this has been in the cellar. I've forgotten when I bought this. Yeah, well, I mean, it says best before. It's from Batch 901, for those nerds out there. Uh, best before January 22nd, 2016. So it's still in probably date. Is still a couple years old, but it's still within. Yeah, yeah it's still it's good. It's probably two years old. This is my oh, best guess. Oh, God, look at if that. If anyone wants to look up when Batch I will oh. tell you, look at how sexy that is. Oh, it has I black and uh -huh. I'm sorry. Oh, I can you, see floaties. You get surprisingly, like, you get almost these. that. You get almost ha you get shit in the bottom. Jesus you almost Christ, get a half finger ahead, which is impressive for this strong of a beer. Do not drink this oh all my the way God. to the bottom. Leave a little, because it's got some nerves. That'll give you the shits tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be uh, a nasty, nasty tomorrow. The part where all three of us have that amount of... Floaties? Sludge. Yeah, and that's... Well, I mean, Sinkies? I, I took the end of the bottle, so... But still, that's a lot of shit. I know, there's a lot of particulates. Speaking of shit, let's sniff the shit. Yep, still oh, booze and chocolate. Oh my god, it's booze and chocolate. And some cranberry. I'm getting a little bit of the fruit. Getting? I'm getting a little of the fruit. What's jasmine? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there is no jasmine in that. <laughs> oh, that's really strong. That's um, a whole new world. Yeah, it's a whole new world. There you go, you're jasmine in there. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Green believe you didn't see that coming. <laughs> Alright, um... Shall we put this I gotta, in I gotta see that it, it's really boozy, it's really chocolatey, but... I'm not getting a lot else. A little little it, it, there's cherry. Little, well, I, maybe that's a cranberry. Yeah, maybe that's, could yeah be. There's a little bit of dark red fruit. There it's, is some kind of dark it, red fruit. It's a cherry. It's maybe not quite as tart as cranberry, but maybe the cranberry's mulled out. Now I think I'm getting a cranberry. All right, don't it's, it's, it's cherry. It's not cranberry. It's cherry at this point. Ah, oh, shit. Whoa, that is thick. Oh, God, it's like syrup. Oh, it's oh. so sweet. It's so sweet. Humongously sweet. 
Oh, it's like cherry. rich and burning on the tongue. You could shoot this in shooters. It's cherry cordial syrup. We should have used shot glasses for this. We should thing. have. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, I mean, it is I, like it's like boozy cherry cordials. I don't know if this yeah. is even beer anymore. You know what? This really reminds me of the Sam Adams Triple Buck. It's not quite as woodsy, smoky, Holy shit, or burnt, but this is really rich, really syrupy, really boozy, and it's got that boozy astringent that that that. Oh, that roasty astringency that lingers in the back of the throat. This, this is like if you mixed something very sweet yeah. with pure alcohol, but 50-50. This right, is something, I, this is probably something that should have been shot rather than I, drank. I, I'd just like to point out, I have no problem shooting 40% rums. Or whiskey or whatever. I'm having trouble drinking that. Yeah. It's very sweet and very boozy. I think that that's something that's more... This is really something you should sip. I'm feeling I'm feeling the warmth in my chest now. I mean, this is something I'm, I'm feeling the creeping warmth up my throat. Yeah, up your throat. Yeah, as opposed to down. Down the throat. Yeah. Um, I gotta say, it's it's good. I love the taste of it. It's just a lot to drink in an entire bottle. It's, like it's this. this is one you'd have to. This is almost one that should be drank like Utopias. This is. Uh, it's a good thing we split this up because yeah. otherwise we'd be at this all night. No, this is. Uh, I'm bottle of this could easily I could, I could easily see, see drink, myself drinking a dogfish head one twenty by myself in a sitting. This maybe. But not. this. No. no. No, absolutely not. This is too thick and rich. It's good for what it is. It's but extremely. It's, 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 extremely it's, it's a lot. It is definitely syrupy. It is very syrupy. And there's so much particular. Ooh. Holy balls. That might be the two-year aging thing, too, so. This in incredibly reminds You guys didn't have it, but I, up in Ontario, Matt and Massive Beer Reviews brought it Sam Adams Triple Bock from 1997. This really reminds me of 1997? that. 1997? 97. Yes. That's insane. Yeah. All right, so numbers. All right. Um, as much as this defies classification, I'm going to say 375. I'll give that a four. What do you say? Um, the fact that I... I won't even be able to drink that. Um, it is something... For shame. Shame. It is something to be shared with a lot of people. Yes. Yeah. You definitely if you're be, sharing it with a bunch one, of people, yeah. I wish I had a second bottle of this to take up to the Niagara Falls next year. Cause it's, I, I, I could give it... This is one you could split with a lot of people. You don't want more than two ounces of this bottle. Yeah. No. This, no, I yeah, can, this too if much you're just more. having like a little bit, I can give it a three. Right. I, can, I can give it a three for that. Okay. But to try to drink on your by yourself the whole no. bottle? Oh my god, no. that'd be madness! 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 Each one, well, each one of these bottles is like four. Madness! Beers. This is Tokyo. Yeah. No. And so, so yeah, a lot of big flavors, a lot of intenseness. Very Max. rich. Very rich. Rich. Wow. It's not just rich; it's wealthy. <laughs> and I think it's I'm raw. turning. I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Do 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 do. You really think so? All right. Thanks for watching Maxwell Stairs beer reviews of BrewDogs Tokyo. Wow, that's a hell of a beer. That is so unexpected. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I forgot how strong this was. Yeah, it got you did that. It got and so how long I had my Holy shit. I am not responsible. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you folks later. Cheers. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Ah, man. I oh, feel it. Dear God. <laughs>